Hey again, what I want to talk in this video, I want to talk about input data. If you see in the previous video, we just give the variable data directory, like name, age, department, and the pie. Now, if you run it, he always give you this output. Name Hussein, age 28, department software engineering. He will never, never, never change it. But wait, what if I want to change this value? What I have to do? So I have to do something scanning from the input. So someone enter information, enter name from here, from the input. So uh, let me talk about the input. So let me just create a new file. I name it input inputs. Okay. And I click OK. I will copy all the data information I have in the data file. This one data type and paste it here. And let me just close other files that I'm no longer use them. So now what I want to do, I want to allow to the user to enter the name from the screen. So what I, I if it will do that, just I write next line. So next line, when I write just next line, or sorry, read line, not, read, not next line, read line, he will totally understand this function in Kotlin. That's mean, hey, read whatever the user input here. So now if you just run it, you will see something totally different. You will not see any output. He will be in this steps and he will not pass unless you enter the name so uh, let me see what we mean by that so now you will see the screen is empty doesn't have anything i don't know why this one so wait see he doesn't have anything you just see have a, a this one waiting you for entering anything so let me give it jenna i just writing jenna enter see he give me name jenna age 28 whatever if you just rerun it again so and and wait for the output and push I say wait well, some classes have some changes maybe reload now hey don't show this this message in the future so let me give it layer input so I say name layer age 28 so what's happened here if I just add her debugger and I click right and run step by step so you will understand what is going on you will see you would see when he get this line when the application will run he will stop on this line he will ask user to input information so when the user here enter information let me suppose i enter uh, jenna okay he just input the information the way i just add this one in wrong place i have to add it let me suppose add it here and just wait sorry add it again here just click right select debug make sure you select debug so So here we go. If you see, when I select debug, he just stop on this line. He doesn't have anything. Now if I just click run, now he he waits. See, he doesn't move to any step. He wait me to enter information. He is in this line now. Let me enter runner. Click enter, he just go to the next line. So he just read from the input. He read the word runner and he added in this variable. Now the name have runner. Age have already 28 that variable defined and he could print the information for you so this is basically how you read sitting from the screen really really easy just read but it's better to make it more professional like here asking user showing him something some message like print line you ask him hey uh, enter name enter name okay so he will understand it's better to use a print not a print line so he could add it near it so now we just click run he will see word print he ask him to enter name so he will understand hey i know i need to enter my name so wait for a second and see what is going on so now in the screen he will ask him to enter his name see he's asking him enter your name see enter name let me suppose ahmed hmm, whatever this all this name enter he say your name your age whatever software engineering so did you see the message how it's benefit print what the difference between between a print and a print line if I you just print line he will he will not allow you to write beside the name so now you see here we write the beside the message but if we say print line he will ask us to to write to enter information in a new line which is I don't think we prefer it like we don't prefer to see uh, see he just allow us to enter information next line not beside the variable okay so yes so basically print is better let me do same process for the age so if i just go here add same thing for age 
enter age I do same thing for department I say enter department okay but wait department is string I could do this way also read line okay because read line reading string from the screen and also age if I say read line it will not work with the age because age now I didn't define it anything he, he considered the age as citra as he now he will not have any problem for this thing because read read line he will return citring when he will add the citring instead of variable age he will consider age as a citring he will not consider it as integer so to make sure age should be integer you say hey semicolon integer that's mean any data coming here should be integer but see he give you error because read read line he will he will read that ever line inputted here he will read as a string even you enter 28 he will consider it as a string so you need to change it what you need to change it to the to you need to change it to integer okay but change it to integer just say dot to integer and you should be okay but maybe you will have you have problem and maybe you will be okay but i think i believe you will be okay if you just say read line then then i think uh, it doesn't work so for some reason you cannot do this you say hey nullable insert you have to add this thing because this means we are expecting input null so now he say hey the input data is sitting please convert it to integer and add it in this variable because this variable expect data as integer he will not expect he will not accept string now you have to do the same thing here in the pi so if i just say read uh, read line okay read line will expect double here so i have to say hey two to double okay but this one also not accepted because need to add double of these because hey I'm, i will change the, the input value to be able to read it so same thing you it's better to take this one up in the variable place okay after the department definition and also make sure a uh, print message ask user to input the pi okay and also make sure to print the pi just to show you print pi and pi here so did you see when i want to read name name because sitting that's okay to read next line when i want to read age age is integer i need to convert it to integer convert the line to integer when i want to read double i want to convert the line to double when i want to again read sitting that's okay just read it because i don't have any problem now if i just run it the application will be really really amazing because now every time i could input different information i could see different output so running it and wait for some time until we will see how to work with this variable so enter name let me suppose i have name jenna enter age two year enter department software engineering he say enter pi let me suppose 3.14 and he give us all the information name jenna age two department pi this value if you just run it again whatever any information in new information you give it he will give you a new value so, and that's exactly what i want so if you suppose leia leia have one year and department is en and the pi is 2.11 whatever so leia one year the point eleven. so did you see how he, how we was able to initialize the variables and how we was able to read from the screen and do to all what we want so just to be more professional this is it's better to say hey print line out this add star 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 output whatever just just to show it like more professional way so you will you will understand the output from the input you just spray them so now if you just let me just input information for myself so you will understand everything so make sure whenever you want to read data from the screen just use read line if the data is string just use read line as you see it here if the data expect to be integer make sure say two integer double two double whatever so i have name hussein i have age 28 i have department software engineering i have pi 3.14 and see he give me output and he print all these output for me 
So the good thing you have to know in this lecture also the application get executed line by line. He first when this line, then this, 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 this. He continues step by step. Asking input, moving next. Asking input, moving next. If you want just to keep track, so just add the breakpoint, debug. Just let, I I encourage you always to use a breakpoint in this time because they help you a lot to understand how program flow, how to execute the program step by step, and it is really really amazing for you as a beginner. So yes, yeah, see he just he stop in this line. He don't have anything. Just click here. He asks screen input enter name. I say Hussein. Enter. If you see here now, hopefully, I just click next. He will, so he will be able to see here see the variable name is defined now i want to run that enter age then let me suppose age 28 click enter then next he, if you see here i have age defined now if i next say department software engineering click enter doing a bit here you say enter de department enter department what he said and to, until now i think he did not run this code unless you just click this one if you see department software engineering now i have it yes enter pi just ask pi 3.14 click run enter if you see here define it. see now i have four variables name age department all, all these are saved in the memory so what this means that means this variable are lives now in memory because we said hey when we define variable the variables will lives in memory so now you have output so he will start printing them he have them in memory already for of this variable name so when he ask him to print the name he will understand what he will print he print his in when he will ask him to print age he will go to memory look for age and print age when he go to the pi he go to the memory read pi and print it when he go to the next everything and he done so this is basically what i want to teach you in this video here we done and thank you for watching and see you next